Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at a surprise game for me that really widened my appetite in gaming with December 2020 release of video game Haven. Normally I would skip this type of game, but the subscription based gaming as it is today with Microsoft's Game Pass and Sony's PlayStation Plus and now systems allow the player to play games they may never have taken a chance on with prior. I myself currently a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber and love downloading games for both the Xbox and Microsoft Windows platforms. This allowed myself to also get updates on the newest releases and as such I got to play Haven on its release date and actually played a game I probably would never have any intention at all of playing. Haven was developed and released by the Game Bakers in 2020 and is available on all consoles and PC. It is a third person role playing video game that explores the relationship and survival of two individuals throughout the game through an immersed world wanting to be explored and discovered. The main characters are K and U, and they are already attached as lovers before the game begins. So no need in trying to get them together. They already are. They escape their home world that makes couples through a matchmaker and unable to be together. They fled to the planet named Source to get away and be together forever. As they crash land on the planet, they will need food, shelter, and much more to survive the planet to live their life of freedom. The game focuses on relationship between K and U, and as it is very text heavy and voice splendidly, the player can play single player or multiplayer with a friend, but I suggest a significant other as some of the romantic dialogue the players are able to choose as one as K and the other as U will feel weird between normal friends. Do you really think that? I don't know. A little bit? <sighs> I find that comforting. Because I'm thinking that too, all the time. <laughs> that I don't deserve you? No, idiot. That I don't deserve you. Would you look at us? Not deserving one another. You know what? I think the world doesn't deserve us. The writing is truly what keeps you engaged as you strive to keep the relationship together as strong as possible as you progress through the story. I kept wanting to go back to their shelter to see what happens next in the drama attached between the two as if I were watching a real drama on Netflix. You are able to explore the world with anti-gravity boots that literally lets you fly rather than walking around or running and is a must as walking anywhere is extremely slow and impossible to travel with. There are flow threads that you follow and glide through to help explore the world and really give you that much more feeling of freedom at a visually stunning pace. The creatures are all harmless unless attached to a certain type of rust around the world that you need to repair your ship which is scattered over 40 different areas on source. As you clean up the rust and defeat enemies and revert them back to their peace-loving ways, you are able to repair your ship and home and get stronger as you level up and progress. Now, we just need to fix up the wings, and the turbine, and the hypopropellers, and... Don't be so cynical. Getting the nest out of the crevasse was quite a feat. This is where the game falls short in its exploration. You will find details of the past that will help you understand the main campaign, but the task can get quite boring really quick, as you continuously do the same thing in searching for items, for first aid, to cooking meals, getting rid of the rust on source, combating 
some enemies infected by the rust and to finally craft and repair your ship and shelter. Not enough supplies? Then you just gotta do it again. It's the game's way of grinding through the game, which lasts about 15 hours to complete. And this RPG is quite short, but it is ideal for one that is really isn't a hard game, which developers tell you right at the beginning, but is a one that is a story-driven game, one about relationship between two lovers. Haven gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its fantastic writing, voice acting, storytelling, and its pacing, but it's dragged down by its continuous fetch quest that truly does a story an injustice. If you love storytelling, this game is sublime as you watch K and Yu's relationship develop and expand to the next dramatic scene. That's it for me on this look and review on Haven. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Reverse, reverse. You need a reverse, reverse, reverse or a reverse, reverse mirror. What about boomerang? Boomerang only works when it's your hand. So, now you get four bobbles. What? Why four? That's two for the pick a bobble and one for each reverse. I'm not sure I understand where this game is going. Come on! It's so fun! Damn!